All right, what are we here for today? We're here for crime time. <sighs> oh my God. This Dr. Pepper's attacking me. Crime, I have a criminology degree. We watch true crime. We're watching another video from Red Tree Crime called When a Murderer Pretends to Be Insane. You're not into certain uh, sensitive topics like actual crime and what appears to be murder in this one. Uh, you might need to, you know, dip for an hour or so and that's okay. Uh, just keep yourself safe if you start to feel weird. I'll see you in a little bit. of 2017 a call was made to 911 and i'm super not going to play runescape right now one to report the sound of gunfire in a grand rapids michigan neighborhood the police <laughs> were dispatched to the scene and they would find the body of 50 year old Lori lundenberg lying Oof. on the sidewalk the first sidewalk? thing they noticed was that none of Lori's belongings had been stolen so most likely not a robbery gone wrong they also noticed Personal that attack. there was no bullet casings in the area which meant that the shooter likely shot from the inside of a vehicle, or they mm. used a revolver. Or they picked up the bullet, to bro. They investigate the case, but without witness testimony or evidence, it would remain unsolved for almost a year. In January of 2018, the police responded to another shooting in the same area where Lori had been found. This time, the victim was a man named Andre Hawkins. While they investigated the crime scene, they attempted to question a man named Vincente Rodriguez. Vincente tried to flee the scene, but the police were able to catch and arrest him. Mm. Vincente was carrying a gun with the same caliber of bullets as the one that took Lori's life. Well, the police now had even if it wasn't suspect, him, he's fucked. <laughs> so all that was left to do, do you was to interrogate that? him and see what he had to say. We know you went through a very emotionally charged kind of thing. We Holy know things shit. didn't go the way you meant them to go. Okay. Sure, what happened didn't mean to happen. The police's budget is getting better and better every yeah, time I watch a video, man. Stuff, okay. Vicente, I'm gonna read your rights. Because you're here and you can't leave. They have hair replacement now. Like I said, I'm gonna read your rights, then we can decide how this is gonna go, okay? Can you read and write English, okay? Yes? Would you like to read along with that card? You have the right to remain silent? Anything you say can be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to the presence of a lawyer before and during the questioning. And if you wish a lawyer can afford one, the court will appoint one before any questioning. You understand that? Um, no one's going to make you say anything today. I know it's bad. You want to do it again? Okay, let's do it again. Number one, you have the right to remain silent. Um. Do you understand that? Yep, okay. Number two, anything you say will be used against you in a court of law. Ew, ew. Do you understand that? Squeaky. No? No. Anything you say can be used against you in a court of law. I don't doubt for one second that you understand what I'm telling you. You understand the conversation. You understand the questions. So we're going we're gonna to have to come to some type of agreement here. Or at least an understanding whether or not you want to act like a young adult mm. or not. After Vincente has read his right, no. he says he doesn't understand what is being read to him. Whether he is playing dumb or he really doesn't understand doesn't matter because the detective can't continue to question him until he hears Vincente say he understands. <clears throat> Talk to a lot of people. You're not an unintelligent person. You want to start over? I forget. Okay. How long ago did you guys break up? Oh. I forget you things. You and your girlfriend. I don't even remember that. They have already spoken with Vincente's mother prior to this interrogation. She informed them that his girlfriend had broken up with him and he was very depressed because of it. You guys were obviously very serious with each other. You had some goals written down there in your bedroom closet about what your goals together are going to be for the new year. Is that for next New Year's or this New Year's? In his closet? Happened? Is that the goal for? I just black, you know, I can't say I blacked out, but I don't know. Yeah, Happy New Year, guys. This was all planned. He just has like his dreams in his closet? I just, it's like once. Is it like Narnia? 
I know you've, you've had some anger issues and been to some anger counseling in the past, right? Was that a court order thing or is that, what's that? Well, I've seen some paperwork in your bedroom. I don't remember. That was from you going to anger. This guy's good. I really have a problem. It's, it's not just anger. Uh, I'm, I'm I, not stupid. Right, that's what Sometimes exactly what we're somebody finds me and pees my pants. But something's really wrong with my brain. Like, and not just anger, but just keeping your emotions in control. Is that what you're saying? Or what do you... There are I some don't people. know exactly what happens. Mm -hmm. It feels like one minute I'm here, but then the next minute I'm... Oh, come, like come on, dude. I feel here. Is this you dude, want, is this dude about to here. pull... You fell? No, I feel like I'm here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Like you're kind of grounded. The detective gets a message from his sergeant telling him that he needs to get Vincente to say he understands his rights before the questioning can continue. Can we go this another time? That is true. If there isn't some type of consent, his lawyer can um, plead that he wasn't he wasn't given his rights fully. Now there seems like you've got a little more clarity in your, in your speaking and maybe you understand a little better. I'll read, just I'll make sure you understand this before we talk any more about this. Fair enough? Okay. Can you read that? <clears throat> They're pressing him after he claims he's confused because they know he's not actually confused. You go by Vicente or Sente? You're one? Yeah. Okay. Would you like to read that or you want me to read it for you? No, I'm reading it. Can you you want me to read it? Just so I have to make sure I understand it. Also, uh, fun fact, if this doesn't end up going the way the police want in, fa in, in the way that he, like, consents, there is ways to, like, get around it. I mean, they can argue that, like, he does know and he is playing stupid. So, like, there are there are ways to, like, get around this. I mean, obviously, they'd rather just get the consent because it's easy done. But if there's a difficult suspect like this, they can try their best to, like, show how he clearly knows and he's avoiding it because he knows if he acknowledges it, it's a problem, so. No, you, you, you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say or can be used against you in the court of law. Do you understand those rights? I read them to you? Yeah. Yeah, I will Doesn't say you did anything wrong, doesn't. Doesn't say you admit to anything. Just admit that you will talk to us. You can say what you want. You don't have to say anything you don't want to. Okay? Uh -huh. You understand that? With that out of the way, the detective can finally question his suspect about the crime. He starts by trying to make sure. Vincente believe it is pointless to deny that he was the shooter. Um, I've been working on this case for, I don't know, a day and a half straight. You can tell because I got like a half a beard going. I'm kind of tired. Okay. I know this case Can you tell well, my facial hair exists? I looked at a lot of evidence. Look, I have facial I hair. I understand the case. <laughs> what I don't necessarily understand you've, you've is... You've given me a beard, and it's all your fault. how you were feeling at the time, and what led up to this, and your side of the story. Because that needs to get okay. talked about <laughs> by you. Because I don't know what's going on in your head at that time. I've been growing a beard for two days, and it's your fault. How you felt about certain things is if you tell them. Does that make sense? Because as it stands right now, you're kind of in a bad light about what happened. A lot of people told us what happened. Okay? And it makes you look kind of like a bad guy. But that isn't always necessarily the case because your side of the story hasn't been told. That makes sense? Yeah. No. So can you kind of uh -oh. just start last night? Tell me what was going on with you. It's about probably about four thirty, five o'clock right now. 
There I was. In the afternoon. Committing a murder. We're talking about, like, last night. Seven, eight, nine o'clock p.m. I'm just trying to think about what I did yesterday. Okay. I remember. This guy's so good. Like, we was <laughs> texting and stuff. Me and her. Mm-hmm. I know I was like we were like not on good like we were on a good turn like not to the point where if I seen her I'm like angry at her or anything it's just I have that it'd be at that point where it's just like I feel some way and like I'm just not about to just like I'm not gonna just start yelling and screaming for no reason. It's a good choice. Yeah. But I just it lead it off with anger. It. Mm, Are there captions? I don't know what we was talking about. Are there captions for this video? But I know, like, the conversation, like, ended, and I didn't hear from her for a while. And, like, I know I was calling for a second. I probably called a couple times. Who? I don't know. This will make, I want to make sure who we're talking about. Who are we talking about that you're having problems with? What was her name? She's your girlfriend, right? It's really hard for me to remember, like, oh my god, what all happened yesterday Brother. to whatever like got me in the situation right now. I just, I don't know. I have so many. I feel like, yeah, I, I know was your guys are detectives, and mm, whatever happened is serious, yeah. like. It, it gotta be serious because I'm running out. Really? I, I had to go to the hospital. Right, we knew about that. You have a little run in with a police dog? Vincente continues pretending he cannot remember what happened the night before. He says that it must be something serious since he was arrested and he is being questioned by the police. He also claims that he doesn't remember his ex-girlfriend's name even though they dated for quite some time. He is so fucking... Um, this I'll, is so, that so clever. Just, that I was just about to say is that... What a strategy. I know me and her... Write this one down, guys. And, there, and we had, like, a little disagreement, argument, however. Is it is it hard just kind of coming come to terms with speaking about that? If you're like speaking you, about what? Speaking about her. I mean, I think you dated her for about three years. I mean, I got, I got, I got a bad memory. I can't remember what I had for lunch some days. <laughs> but I can remember a girl that I dated for three years. Probably remember her first name. Yeah, when you say her first name, yeah. I remember. Okay. When you say her name, did I'll remember? Or did, did you think she was cheating on you? Why would you think that? It wasn't a thing. You knew it? Had you seen her with him before last night? Mm. Hello? Um, Who just grunted? I saw it and I just... Mm. According to witness testimony, what he saw was his ex-girlfriend and his victim, Andre, together in the car. Vincente almost confesses to the crime. What are Miranda rights? He saw it and he just snapped, Isn't that the coffee you drink? Right before saying snapped. The detective asks him to elaborate on what he saw. Vincente, what did you see? 
should have kept on the wall, you know. Just how our relationship turned out. Our relationship turned out. Right? I mean, good one, Jim. It was perfect. To me. But then it got bad. I guess um, I guess you noticed that. No I problem, smile. She noticed that you did? I guess you noticed you that I have I know, a problem. I, <laughs> I guess you noticed that I'm a bit different. <laughs> what Jesus. Oh my god. What Here jealousy? We go. Is, huh? What jealousy? Do you have a problem with? Huh? That can fall in line. But. My problem is that I, I, I love too much. Like, with, like, my brain. I really do. Uh huh. I'm here for a minute and then I'm not. Can I refresh your memory about a couple things? <laughs> That'd be okay. Mm. Do you remember being over on 2nd Street last night? The funny line. There's a, a lot of people on 2nd Street remembered you being over there. Less than a day ago, not that long ago. I can imagine that having to tell a story out loud about something like this is not easy. We both know that you wouldn't, you wouldn't be sitting here if we didn't have a lot of reason to have you down here. Here's, here's what I don't want to do, Asante. I could lay out piece by piece, piece by piece, of the reasons, piece by the, piece, the different elements of this whole thing that puts you right in the middle of this of this incident. Left cop is you tired. Know, yeah. I know, it's a bad wording <laughs> in my part. I could tell the story for you. But I'm not sure that's going to help you. The second they get results, accusatory, man, man, you and me sitting right here. You lost me. <laughs> Today, right here, you look like a monster. And I want to hear a story that I don't understand. Like, with me like Mike Wazowski or like Sully this, kind of monster. I can tell them the scent they fucked up. You're going to have to be more specific. He's not a monster. And here's why Classic police. Because he told me the truth about We can, these uh, we'll let the public know that you're not a, that things. bad of a guy. You just killed three people. You know, remorses. You know. We know you're not that yeah, bad. Like we'll a, tell people. A man about these things. They're not going to go away. I think your story needs to be told and heard and listened to by somebody other than me. And I'm willing to do that. I'm willing to take your story and tell my boss, tell the court, tell the judge about you. Because what it looks like right now for you is not good at all. Does that, does that make sense to you? You lost me. Here's where we're gonna get hung up. I, I don't want to sit here and, and play the I don't remember game. I really don't. Damn. I've been up for a long time. Kind of tired. But I'm willing to sit here and listen to you. This cop really just wants a nap, dude. AJ and myself. He's complaining about being awake man. for a long time. Haven't yelled at you. Haven't badgered you. Just want the story. He's a cop. He's had a long day. Mentioned in yeah, I bet it's been real hard. Sente's first victim because they want to wait until he confesses to the second victim first. Once a suspect has confessed to a crime, they will usually be more at ease confessing to other crimes they have committed. Yeah, I got mad. You got mad on Second Street? I got mad at home. When you're texting. Okay. So you, did you walk immediately over there? Yep. What happened when you got over there? When I got over there, only thing that I remember is that I started running towards the car. Whose car was it? I don't know whose car it was. Honestly, I don't even remember what kind of car it was, what color it was. Do you 
you remember who was in it? Um, this is annoying me. Because I believe you probably do remember. She was in there. That's why I was mad. You know the other people in there, too. And they know you. I remember I, I came up to the car and I pulled her out. And I was mad because she was doing something that she wasn't supposed to be doing. She was in the car, like, smoking and stuff like that. And she tells me that she doesn't smoke. She tried to prevent me from smoking. Like, um, I know I walked away. I walked away. Yeah. Because she, I sat there and I was, I, I, I was trying to talk to her. And I was basically saying, like, why, you know, like, you don't see what you're doing, like, to piss me off. Like, you're clearly, like, out here doing something that you don't supposed to be doing when you told me you were just cleaning your room and stuff like that. Like, yeah, you at home. Like, but you, like, out here smoking and basically hiding and stuff from me. So. But you're also more mad about the boy being there. Yeah, because she, um, she used to hang around him. Mm-hmm. When I first, you know, when I first met her, and I was, I, I was, at first, I was basically saying when I first got with her, I was just saying like, that's your friend. Like, I really can't bump into the middle of that. Like, jump into your life and tell you who and not to talk to. Mm-hmm. Like, Do you know that dude's name? I can't remember his name. I can I told you. Would you remember it? It may ring some bells. Cause I remember that gold sheet that is um that we had. Well, maybe if you told me, I would have said no. Yeah, that was supposed to be for this year. We were supposed to get an apartment. We were supposed to basically like start getting our life together. Like we we're just. A hey, sneak can't see these letters. Poo poo. I see everything. I'm on to you. <sighs> She go to school and I go to work and stuff like that. And like, if we have a kid, we basically just start a family. Like, but that didn't happen. It looked like some good goals. Yeah, both of you. So let, let me let me just recap this. You saw right. So what you're saying is is that you traded some texts with her in the evening. You maybe argued a little bit over some things, and then you decided to go over to Second Street, maybe to confront her or find out what the heck she was doing. And you found her in a car with some other people. Is that accurate? Mm -hmm. Okay. You That's pulled her out of the car to confront her about what happened. Mm -hmm. um, what happened during that time? When I was talking to her, when I pulled her out of the car. Yeah. Um, like I said, we was sitting there, and I was basically telling her, like, like, is this what you're choosing to do? Right. Like. If it is, I would leave, and that's what happened. Oh God! I stop left. creaking. And her friend was sitting there because her friend made me mad because she started jumping into our situation, which really has nothing to do with her. Shut just up, chat. Yeah, and um, she she basically um. <clears throat> Yeah, I, I told her, is that what you choose to do? And her friend was sitting there, and I started walking off. And how I, um, I remember her, she started crying. My bad, guys, I'll fix I remember chat. her saying no. Like, I remember her saying no, and she, like, started crying, and I just walked away. There we go. I walked away, and... It all started coming to my head. It just made me mad. I, it started running through my head. I left and I got home. Thank God you guys pointed it out. When I got home, only thing that I can remember is that I started going back over there. 
whatever happened, I don't know. I still don't know till now. Let us out? Okay. Like, we all know that I'm here in front of you guys for a reason and it's something serious, as y'all saying, it's something serious. And I'm hoping that the dude is just like, I didn't hurt him bad. I hope that I didn't hurt her bad. I'm hoping that I didn't hurt whoever else was in that car, that skinny girl that came out the car, like basically defending her. I hope what nobody, are we I hope talking I about? I not hurt anybody that bad. Because I know I have a problem. And if I have this kind of a problem. Sneak, I want to be put and back. And then I come back to okay. basically come back to reality. Like, no, I don't know if I pronounced that right. But. I have a problem. I really have a problem. I believe you. And I know nine times out of ten, you guys is looking at me like he might have a problem. He may not. He may just be acting, but I'm serious. Okay. What, what happened over there where you think you may have hurt somebody? Huh? What happened over there, around the car, those other people, that you think you may have hurt them? Truthfully. No, I'm hoping that I didn't hurt them. I know when I pulled her out that car, when I, like, talked to her, I pulled her out the car and I started talking oh God, to her. I, was, I didn't hurt her. Call. I did not want to hurt her. Only thing that I wanted to do is basically show her what's going on. Showing you what you're doing to me. And basically what you're doing to this relationship and what it's going to end out to. There we go. And that's us being separated. And I, I can't see nothing else without her. He seems pretty Vincent over it. has given them all the motive they could ever ask for. That's but very true. But he continues true. to claim that he doesn't remember the crime itself. <laughs> it is very important that they get him to confess to the crime itself. So they must focus on what he doesn't remember. Okay, well, that, the, the, what you just described is kind of the kind of the starting point for what happened over there. It went from that into a couple a couple more little incidents uh, that you're really not describing. Like what, honestly, whatever, like I did, I didn't mean to do. Oh, brother. Well, how do you know that you didn't mean to do it if you don't know what it, was that you did that's what i'm saying Same whatever thing. i did nobody nobody's i'm just being honest with you nobody's gonna go for the i don't remember nobody is all these people have been around this for decades but if i really don't remember then nobody's gonna believe that <laughs> well what if i didn't though that's not, that's not <laughs> I mean, scientific but, studies but, have been done. But what if I down. didn't remember, you though? You've been in war and do violent things. There's not a matter of, I can't remember. You might forget little details or something. But what if it, what if I did it? But you know what happened. Sometimes it's convenient not to remember. Because it kind of suits the purpose for yourself. What? And I know, we've been in this. We've been in this situation before. LOL, honest cop. Hour. The detectives continue to explain why Vincente should confess to the crime and how they have more evidence than they need to convict him. At one point, Vincente tries to lie, saying that he went over to a friend's to watch a movie. Oh my god, that dumb Eventually, bitch. Eventually, it all pays off, and Vincente begins to explain exactly what happened. So, I first came. When I first came, that's when I pulled her off the car. Mm -hmm. And that's when I had started talking to him about basically why you doing this and stuff like that. And then I left. Okay. And then when I got home, that's when all that stuff started going through my head. The jealousy and the anger and all that? Yeah. Yeah. Uh. So how long before you went back over there? Um, I don't know how long it was, but I just lost it. What do you mean by that? Like, I lost it. Control of your anger? Mm-hmm. And you went to confront her? Honestly, 
like by every single like I don't know what I did like step by step right like but here we go again I did something bad I know I did what would that be I do know I I don't know lol okay I'm being honest with you you're getting there. I came you're getting there and when funny line I got there that second time yeah I lost it okay what did you do when I got there the second time I came up to her and I wanted to just hit her. Mm. So what happened? I just ran off. What really happened? Is that when you pull the gun out, when you come up to her? I didn't pull no gun out on her. That's just a lie. I didn't pull it out on her. I wanted to. I didn't though. Well, that's just also go. stupid. That lit he just admitted to premeditation. Like your breast pocket, is that what you're saying? Mm -hmm. What kind of gun is that? Is it like an inside pocket one? Because that's a pretty big gun to fit in that pocket. Oh, <laughs> that's that a pocket, big that pocket, big man. Wow. Where'd you get that? Yes. <laughs> Where'd you get a pocket so big? Fuck. <laughs> so your left side breast pocket. That's what you're saying. I don't even remember bits and pieces. And I remember running up to her and I scared her and I wasn't trying to scare her. Mm -hmm. I scared her. The what pocket? <laughs> and then after I did that, I remember I was running. Okay. And my leg hurt it. The reason that you scared her is because you had a gun pointed at her head. That's why he's scared her. Yeah, that would do it. Can we agree on that? If I did, I don't remember ever doing, like, point no gun at her head. Well, that's convenient for you to say. Because it's not easy to talk about. No. <laughs> I ran Come up to on. her. Come on. It was weird, yeah. though. <laughs> I, um, I pointed it at her. What do you mean in what's going through your mind at that point? Are you trying to get her to leave with you? What's going through your mind at that point? Maybe pay attention to you? Show her I didn't want to hurt her. Yeah. And you know what's good about that? There's two things that are good about that. Number one, we appreciate you telling the truth. Number what? two, she didn't get hurt. Uh -huh. You know, the most threatening, I wanted to make sure she felt safe, so I did one of the most threatening things I could do to somebody. In fact, probably the most threatening thing, which was threaten their life, um, just so she knows that I can protect her. What? Okay. <laughs> what do you mean? Let me ask you this question. At that point, you're obviously angry. Um, you're up there. Are you, in your mind, are you almost scaring yourself with your anger, or do you feel like you're in control at that it point? You scared the fuck out of me. Okay. Because you're so angry at that point. I was so scared. Were you more angry the second time than you were the first time, would you say? Oh, um... Yeah, I was angry. I was more angry um, the second time. When you go, go ahead. No, go ahead. 
No, after you, Mr. When Officer. I Please. did that. I, I didn't want to hurt her. And I I was scared that I was going to. What causes um, you to stop pointing the gun at her and for her to... No, Mr. Mr. Other way, police you officer, you, you, the gun you go ahead, Mr. Police Officer. Her. Go ahead. Okay. What did she do? Uh -huh. Did she move away from you then? Did she get in the car? No, I moved. You moved? Where did you yes, move to? I, wow, so I, noble. I went to the back. By the garage? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. See, and I, I appreciate you telling me the truth, because I asked you a little bit ago to go back by the garage, and you said no. So I, I appreciate that. The I chair the there. chair just weighed in. You hear that? You went, I went back there. <laughs> Got the chair nervous, man. I told man. myself to leave, because it was time to go. Because I knew if I wasn't in, I knew if I would have stayed there, I would have hurt somebody. And that's what happened. Mm -hmm. let, me, let me stop you. It is. You did hurt somebody, yeah. We, we both know there's, there's one more aspect to this story that's not being told. He's about to tell it. He's getting yeah. there. Can we agree with that? What do you there's mean? There's one more <laughs> yeah, thing Yeah, he's, he's getting there. He's a big boy. Okay. The, <laughs> pull her out of the car. What the? With the gun in her head. Going to the garage, coming back up to the car. Yeah, he's so he's so responsible. He's getting there. He's a big boy. <laughs> it needs to get explained. It was kind of the big part. Are they trying to pull away as you go back up the car? Or are they still just kind of sitting there? No. Um. And, uh, do you, I don't know if you. It seemed like you had the story kind of confused. What the first time is when I pulled her out the car. Yeah. And. I talked to her. I don't know if I probably was was getting it wrong from what you were saying, but the first time I came, I pulled her out the car. That happened. I left. I came back. Yeah. And that second time, I came. Buff cop with trying that, to go home for and sure. She was there, and that's when I pointed the gun. Yeah. And I didn't want to hurt her, so. So I you was, threatened I her life. Even, I didn't was she out of the car at that point? Yeah, she was out of the car, going into the car. Okay. Like. And when I did that, I remember I didn't want to hurt her. But you can't. Ah, uh, the chair just, the chair is like that's a lie. Pause, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I went to the back. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And do you know and what? And then because her and her friend came out, and they got in the car. Yeah. And the skinny girl wasn't there. The lie right? detector chair. What happened then? I love how it's the girl, his the, the girl's friend, and skinny girl. That's that's the third girl in this equation. Not like the other friend or anything like that. Skinny girl is the third person. What a interesting characteristic to give to name them. I ran back to the after I ran to the back. That's kind of like a stage you name. Come back to the car. What's going through your head when you're coming back to the car? I came back to the car. Yep. Like the sangria bottle stepped out? Or? I just never expect me to do some shit like that. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's what we're <sighs> Okay, bro. <sighs> All right. So what's going through your mind as you're coming back up to that car? The anger, jealousy thing kind of getting the best of you. I was so mad. I was just so mad. Were you more mad at her, mad at that guy? Who were you mad at the most? What did you say? My dad. Um, I really can't say it was like a level of a certain type of mad mm -hmm. between everybody. I am mm -hmm. basically say I'm like the same amount between okay. everybody sure. here. Sure. But I was mad. I'm sure, we'll believe that really crock of shit for five minutes. Mm -hmm. And I got in there. I, well, I, I don't know why I said I got in there. I came back, and yes, I shot him. Him? How many times do you remember shooting? <sighs> you admitted it. I know. We know. We know. Oh my God. Vincente struggled with confessing to taking Andre's life.
But now that he has, he talks about what happened. Oh, I forgot this is about, about the second guy. Openly. With one right. confession down, the detectives must wait for the right time to bring up the first murder. I did what I did. And I fucked up. I, don't, I, I want to blame you if you looked at me like a monster. They do, don't worry. No, we're looking at you like people we've dealt with before that have emotional issues and sometimes can't control their anger and let it get the best of them. As And jealousy is a tough thing for a normal person if someone has somebody that they feel like... So basically a monster. Cheating um, on them or whatever. <laughs> but or we're just going to say different words to make it feel, make you it feel a little better. Really mad. How many years have you dealt with anger issues, would you say? Were you identified at a younger age with anger issues, or was it later as a teen? I never identified. Okay. What was that thing was, in your room about the anger thing? It looked like you were taking like an anger management class. Or oh, um, that anger, ma yeah, I took anger management. You, yeah. you, what oh, you are. that anger management thing. Oh. <laughs> uh -huh. You want to take a take silly a me break just to gather ourselves here? We just, I think um, we need to talk for a second. We can get you some water and come back. Would you rather pop? Pop be better for you? Pop! <laughs> or would you rather water fun? That's what I said. I don't know if it's better for you, but if you like pop, some people like pop better than water. I'm not as worried as the one going to have it in a while. Like okay. Coke? Um, what y'all got? Uh, Diet Coke, much. Coke, Diet Coke, pretty much. Just Coke. What <laughs> Mountain Dew? Yeah, Mountain Dew. Man, it might be Mountain Dew. I don't Dew. mess with Mountain Dew. Yeah, I just go with Coke. Nope. This guy's, yeah, I, I don't know. It's 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 been more fascinating to just hear him dancing around what he did the whole time rather than say anything. I hope that's okay. But yeah, it's, it's, it's interesting to like hear him, you know, I wonder how it's going to go now that he's like admitted one of the crimes you know what i mean and now i'm and you can get people really mad how many years have you dealt with anger issues would you say were you identified at a younger age with anger issues or was it later as I a teen never identify okay what was that thing I in your room about the anger thing it looked like you were taking like an anger management class or oh um, that anger, ma yeah, I took anger management. You, yeah. you want some more water? Uh -huh. You want to take a, take a two minute break just to gather ourselves here? We just, I think, um, we need to talk for a second. You, we can get you some water and come back. Would you rather pop? Pop be better for you? Or would you rather the water fun? I don't know if it's better for you, but if you like pop, some people like pop better than water. I might as well, because I ain't going to have it in a while. Pop. Like Coke? Um, what y'all got? Uh, Diet Coke. Coke. Diet Coke, pretty much. Just Coke. What <laughs> Mountain Dew? Yeah, yeah Mountain Dew. man, it might be Mountain Dew. I don't mess with Mountain Dew. Yeah, I just go with Coke. Just straight Coke? Mm -hmm. Coke Coke? Oh, yeah. All right. They leave the room to regroup and formulate a plan on how to approach the next case. Wow. They must be careful not to take too long because they'll want to question Vincente while he is relaxed and emotional from his first confession. True. What do you mean? I had some other stuff going on. The prosecutor had another case I was working on. Oh my God, did they flip sides? An emotional. Wait, no, they didn't. Damn it. I had some Wait. other stuff yeah, going they on. They didn't. The prosecutor on another case I was working on. And we're getting ready to talk to you anyway. About what? Well, you had a situation. People in the Midwest say pop, get over it. No, we don't. Some of us say soda because that's literally what it is. Hmm. Missouri isn't the Midwest. What do you think we are then? Where do you, where do you think we are? Hmm. That's really strange. Kind of looks like Missouri is included in the Midwest map. Is it hot in here or is that just you getting roasted? Ah! Situation in March. 
right right after you went to court. It's not like Midwest, Midwest. It is literally the middle of the United States. It is the middle of the United States. It's in the it's literally in the center. Holy shit. Can I get some more pixels with my evidence? Hold on. <laughs> Let's see here. Let's see here. How many states go up to down? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. So, like, probably somewhere in the two or three slot would be the. Let's see. Maybe across horizontally. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So like maybe somewhere like fourth or fifth, like like Missouri for for chance. <laughs> it's South Midwest. That's not a thing. <laughs> you don't go to Utah and and go like, well, that's not that's not the actual West. That's like that's like the East West. <laughs> I don't really consider. Uh, Arkansas, the South, it's kind of the North South. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? For your anyway, it's soda. Situation over there on Lincoln Street. You know what I'm talking about? Are you not trying to put that on me? I'm not trying to put anything on you, bud. Oh, he hit, him, he hit him with the bud. A lot of things have come to light in the last few months. Bud. Like a lot of times when things happen in areas and people get themselves in situations and other people come forward and it's just people how things kill work. people. Okay. And like I remember when we talked about earlier about the bullets. I have food. And how they have yeah! like things on them. Root, little tiny grooves. And they can say. Ooh, this is a good lesson. Listen. What gun a bullet came from. But do you remember what gun technology is actually really cool? Not that guns are cool, but like the way guns work and how people can get planted for like evidence wise, how people can like be found out is basically what he just said is that like guns have a unique groove pattern within their barrels. So basically when a gun fires a bullet, it spins in the cylinder, right? That's part of the factor in the speed and the penetration of the bullet. Besides the gunpowder and the firepower, the gunpowder propelling the bullet forward, the spin in the cylinder is what gives the bullet the spin that travels it and gives it that penetrative like nature. And so like the specific grooves within a cylinder of a gun is how those bullets travel. And you can tell based off of the way a bullet gets spun, you can get the groove patterns off of a bullet and you can basically find out exactly what kind of gun shot it because of the way the grooves show up on a bullet. Science. What her nickname was around the neighborhood there that some people called her. Do you ever remember anybody calling her the bird lady? The one time she used to walk around with a bird on her shoulder. Yeah, I remember she had a bird, yeah. She had a bit of a drinking problem. I didn't know her that well. Okay. I know, your friend stayed there. I know all about that. Yeah. Okay. Does every gun have its own groove or is it based off of brand and model? I actually can't remember off the top of my head, but I'm sure somebody in chat will. I'm going to say no, because it's hard to get like, you can't like make a unique groove every time. And I'm pretty sure it's just the model. Model and brand, but it's kind of different each gun. Yeah. Also a good point. The amount of firing from a gun could also change the, the groove pattern too, just due to wear and tear. I uh, also know when she came over and yelled at you, you got out of the passenger side of that car and pulled the gun out on her during the daytime. Smart. No, you didn't do anything to her. You didn't hurt her. Right? I'm not lying. You know it's true. Mm. She can be an abrasive person. I know a lot of people, I dealt with her in the past. I know she can be an abrasive person and she's a mean drunk. Ooh, I know that. Don't. Lori Lindenberg. Oh. There's a lot of our police officers that dealt with her over the years. Damn. She 
she was a mean drunk. Her own kids would tell you that. And she had mental problems. It's, it's never is. good when you have a person that has that kind of mental issue that she dealt with that drank with it. That's never a good this thing. cop wants to go and home, bro. Takes spirals things worse than it normally is. Okay. Before before AJ gets too far into this, do you, you know what you're getting charged with today? Uh, and here's the key thing about stuff like this, okay? You've been around court a little bit. You got a bit. two for one special, man. Enormous amount of contact with court. When you have court and you have stuff, major things going on criminally, you always want everything to go together. If you have a few things going on, you want it to be one package, that way you got one thing, you're dealing with the judge, and you're not getting hit here, and then that one's on so top. basically I was saying that I have something to do with Lori. I'm saying you killed Lori Lundenberger. Uh, also, uh, if they take their time doing multiple trials, the, the defense can argue um, improper amendment rights in terms of like timely court procedures and stuff. Fun fact. I'm not saying it. I know you did. Not that it's a good argument, but okay. it can be done. And I don't, I don't think it's, I don't think it's that. You're I'm not, just telling you to be truthful. Yeah, you're I'm sure you to be truthful and basically say... Like, I already I made it to one murder. Okay. About Lori's situation, you saying if I don't admit to it, it's just going to come up in the future. It most likely will. That's what you're because, because that's how the nature of it is. If we can get through it today, it can all go as one big thing over there, packaged together. And they can deal with one thing, you know, one big thing together. You know what I mean? Oh my God. Otherwise, what happens in these kind of situations, you're always going to be locked up on the other one. So they won't be in a rush to charge it. They'll just do further stuff and then they'll charge down the road. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. and, and, and they'll end up. You'll end up getting charged with it, but it'll be separate. And then you're going to get sentenced on one and have a whole, and then they'll come do the other one. And then they go, oh, well, he's already this. And then they don't work. They can't do it, package things together as well. You know what I'm saying? And, and the second thing is, it's just like the other case. I know, and I've tried to talk to you about things. I know a lot about Lori Lundenberg. And I don't think it's, I, I know she is the one before in the other time where she come out of the house and was yelling at you out there. And it, it's, I'm not surprised that that might be the same situation that happened the night that she got shot. The detectives come right out and accuse Vincente of taking Lori's life. They explain that the bullet casings match his gun, so they know it was his gun that was used. They also explain that if he waits to confess, he won't be able to receive concurrent jail sentences. For those of you that don't know, That's true. when a criminal is charged with multiple crimes, they will receive a sentence for each crime, and the courts will usually let them run concurrently. Oh. However, if the court is unaware of another crime until after the criminal has been sentenced, they will usually have to serve that sentence consecutively. I know. Example, two murders, tried at the same time, both found guilty, he serves 25 years. For both murders but because it was at the same time he serves 25 years because they're both being done congruently at the same time but say in the middle of serving one murder con condemn one guilty murder he's he's serving like 25 he's 20 years into his prison sentence he might even be eligible for parole at that point but they find evidence that he did another murder and so he gets put on trial 20 years into his first murder trial that he got was guilty of. And then he gets found guilty again. So then he has to do 25 more years. So rather than be out for the, in the next five, he has to do 25 more because he didn't stack his crimes on top of each other. This, the same gun killed her that killed him. Very ethical. You said the same gun that killed her killed him? Yep. You knew that was coming. You knew that. Yeah, I knew it was coming. 
Because I got it when you were saying, like, the bullets and the fact, yeah, you're right. basically saying right. that gun is leading towards that situation. So tell me about how that happens. Did she freak out on you? Her normal thing? I know she was drunk. I just saw her walking down the street, so I did it. Huh. It oh, was fuck. a lot going through my mind. Mm -hmm. She... Wow. Bitched and yelled at me. Mm -hmm. And God. I was at the point where it was just like, I'm already going through a lot. Like, because, again, I was going through a situation with mm -hmm. And I was already riled up. Mm -hmm. What did... I, I've heard through people that I've talked to that you were upset about, you had court earlier that month, correct? What do you mean? You had court on that case with Lori Lundenberg earlier that month, correct? Like, yeah, but well, what are you getting at? I, I've been told by people, because we've talked to people. Uh -huh. You might not know people we've talked that we've talked to, but we've talked to people. Yeah. And we've been told you were upset about having to go to court, you felt you were kind of wrong, that you shouldn't have been charged in that case. Is that correct? Yeah. Is that, does that sound correct to you? Yeah. And... Uh, was that part of your pissed off at her? And then she goes and yells at you in the street. Was your court date before you yelled, you got in that convocation in the street or was it after that? Do you remember? It was after my court. It was after your court date? Yeah. It was after my court date. Okay. I'm sorry she started yelling at me and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. I don't know what it was that, I don't know what it was that she threw at me, mm -hmm. but she got mad, she started cussing me out, and I basically was already mad and stuff like that, and I had that gun on me, mm -hmm. and basically... So you're talking about the time on the sidewalk when you shoot her that she threw something at you, is that what you're saying? Or are you saying the time that she confronts you out by the car? No, the time that she confronts me out by the car, that <clears throat> I didn't I didn't have the gun on me. I okay. didn't point no gun at her. Did you make a her. comment about a gun to her? A pop a cap in your ass or something similar to that? That's, I don't remember wow. the exact term the chill, person told chill me out with the kind of what she told the clerk the it was vernacular, something similar man. to that I know what you mean it was um, the guy that I was with he said that he had a gun in the car and the teller and he was basically like trying to get her from coming towards the car getting closer to the mm -hmm. car because he didn't want that's, that's, yeah, that just reminds me a part of what I was told and I'm sorry that I didn't reread that about, give me, give me the gun or something. You said to him at some point. He might have said something about the gun, but then you said, "Give me the gun out of the car or something to get her the hell away from." Does that sound correct or no? You tell me. I didn't say give me no gun. Okay. He just told her like, "Get away from the car," because I got a gun. I will shoot mm -hmm. you. Okay. Like, and then we drove off. Mm -hmm. Like, I didn't tell her that I had a gun. I didn't. My, ask if my memory's gun. correct, it was like a Grand Prix or something. Does that sound right? Does that be correct or no? Uh, what? Grand Prix. Pontiac, like a four door car, if I remember. Yeah, it was a four door car. I think, yep, that is a Grand Prix. Yep. In March of 2019, Vicente pleaded no contest to first and second degree murder. Wow. He received life in prison without the possibility of parole. Interesting. Hello. Hey, Jessica, I'm gonna take a couple quick pictures. You'll be okay, oh, and I'm gonna collect the shirt you're wearing. All right. It's so loud. Can I get you to stand up right over here for me? Right, just come out away from the wall a little bit. That's good. Oh, it's so loud. You can look at me, please. Yeah. Thank you. One more. Okay. So the first thing I'm gonna do. Take some swabs of your hands, okay? 
So you can go ahead and sit back down, or you can stand up, whatever's more comfortable for you right now. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm always going to have to let your mom know about the Lori one, too. And I'm going to basically tell her you were having a tough night that night, and ran into her, and she gave you crap, and you lost control. Is that a fair? Or you'd like her to... Okay. That you're sorry. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Please share your thoughts on this case below, and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of the new content coming to this channel. Also, let me know if you'd like to see the entire four-hour interrogation, and I will upload it to our second channel, Red Tree Stories. Thank you for watching. I will see you next time here on the Red Tree Crime YouTube channel. It was four. It was gonna be four hours. Damn, that cop definitely didn't get sleep. LOL.